Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off campus opportunity and this one is with Odoo. So if you don't know by now, Odoo has just started hiring for software engineering interns right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you people that are looking for an internship. So in this video, we'll be talking more about the role that they're hiring for, what exactly are they looking for. We'll be talking about the eligibility, like who all can apply. And of course, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to get your resume shortlisted. So make sure to watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. The link to apply as always is going to be in the description box. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you keep applying but you're not able to get a call back for any of the companies, or if you feel like you're unable to crack the interviews, you're unable to crack the OA, or any other sort of issues you're getting in your placement journey, then you can connect one to one with me. But I'll personally help you, guide you, mentor you, and make sure that you get everything that it takes so that you're able to get a call back and you're able to crack your dream company. So you can connect one to one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back to this opportunity, like I said, Odoo is hiring for software engineering intern. The location for this is going to be in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Okay, they have a office there in Infotech, right, in Gandhinagar. They mentioned the exact location, so the exact location will be there in the description box again. It is going to be around four to six months internship, and it's a great opportunity. I'll tell you the reason why. Because Odoo is a company that has a product that many, many people are using. Many, many people are working on and many people are using their product. So you're going to have a taste of the industry. You're going to have a real, you know, real world project that you'll be working on. You're going to have a taste of the industry of how to work on a project that has, you know, thousands of users, lakhs of users using it. So it's going to be a great learning experience for you. And when you intern at a company like this, which has a product that many, many people are using, when, I, when you work at a company like this, you can put all this thing in your resume and that is going to bring such a great shine to your resume. Because it's going to show to the recruiter that you have some real world experience, which is always better than having self-paced projects. So always apply for internships like this. These are going to be basically stepping stones to your career. It's going to be stepping stones for you to eventually get to your dream company, right? So it's always important that whenever an opportunity like this comes, you apply for it and you try your best in it, right? So it's going to be a great learning experience. Odoo, as you already know, is a pretty decent company and they have a lot of people that are using their product, okay? So that is one thing and of course the details are already mentioned the location and it's going to be around four to six months. Now let's talk about the eligibility. So as for the eligibility, they have simply said if you're in your last year of your study and if you're looking for an internship. So with that, we can deduce that they're asking final year students to apply 2026 grad. But generally we can assume that 25 grads can also apply because last time when Odoo were hiring, they allowed like recent graduates as well. So 26 grads can surely apply. 2025 grad, I'm assuming that you guys can apply as well because last time it was open as well. Okay. So again, the link to apply is going to be in the description box. You can apply from there and there's no restriction on the degree. If you're a BTEC holder, if you're an MCA holder, BCA holder, any bachelor's degree related to computer science, you're eligible for this. Okay. That is what basically they're asking for. So that is pretty much the eligibility. 26 grad, they're specifically asking for and 25 grad, I'm assuming, because last time they applied, but take that with a grain of salt, okay? So that is the eligibility. If you still have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll clarify there for you. Okay, now we're done with the eligibility. Let's talk a bit about the role, the requirements, and how do you get shortlisted. So again, they're, they're not asking for a lot of requirements. This is a good thing. So that means that many people will be able to get a revert from here. And see, the more you apply, the higher your chances of getting a revert back is going to be. But if you're continuously applying and not getting a revert back, then there's something wrong in your resume that you need to fix. So you can fix it by yourself or you can again get on a review, resume review session with me. The link for that is in the description box. But the main thing is you have to apply continuously and surely you'll get called back. And from a company like Udu, it's easier to get a call back, right? And they're not asking for a lot of tech stack. What they're asking for is basically a few details. So the tech stacks that they're asking for is Python and JavaScript related. And apart from that, they have basic things like GitHub and basic skills, right? I'll mention them in the description box. But they're not asking for anything very specific. They're not asking for a list of skills that we want all of this. You need to have all of this if you want to apply. Nothing like that. They're asking for very basic skills that probably every programmer already has. So how do you get shortlisted? How do you increase your chances of getting shortlisted? So I already mentioned the main thing is that they're asking for tech stack related to Python or JavaScript, meaning Python related tech stack, JavaScript related tech stack. So this is what I always suggest to you guys in my videos, right? Even in the last video I made today itself, which is a 90 days placement preparation roadmap, make sure to give that video a watch. It's going to tell you everything you need to do for the next 90 days to crack your dream company. The link for that video is in the description box. So I mentioned this in that video as well. You need to have 
two to three projects in your resume. One should be a full stack project using React for front end, Node.js or Spring Boot for back end. So it has JavaScript related technologies for full stack. And then one, you can keep a Python project like data science, data analytics, you know, a final year project that you made in your BTEC or BCA because we make Python projects a lot in our college, right? For final year project, capstone project. So put one Python AI ML data science sort of a project and one project you can put anything full stack front end back end. But these two should absolutely be there. One full stack project with AI integration and one Python data AI ML project. When you put both of these projects, you're going to have a high chance of getting shortlisted everywhere because if the company is asking for front end, you'll be eligible. If they're asking for back end, you'll be eligible. If they're asking for Python related tech stack, you'll be eligible. So here also you have to highlight Python and JavaScript, okay? So if you've used JavaScript related technologies, if you've used Node.js or React.js or JavaScript related any tech stack, mention it. If you use Python related tech stack, if you use Python with data science, if you use Python related tech stack, you can again mention it in your resume, okay? So showcase these things in your resume. Apart from that, they have a few keywords, not a lot of details, but just a few keywords. You can mention them in your resume. Very easy to do. Apart from this, if you have any hands-on experience, you've taken part in open source, you've taken part in hackathon, you've taken part in a coding competition, anything that makes you stand apart, mention that in your resume. Make sure your resume has an achievement slash certification section where you mention your certifications, you mention your achievements. That is also give, gonna give you a good boost to your resume, okay? So that's pretty much it. Make sure that you have a perfect resume and then apply. You have a great chance of getting a revert back from here because of course the combination here is going to be significantly lesser compared to a fan company or a top big tech company, right? The competition is going to be significantly lesser. And once you get in, you're going to learn so many things. And of course, you're going to have a lot of things to put in your resume. So apply ASAP and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'll be bringing you guys a lot more opportunities in the future. So make sure that you subscribe, keep an eye out for all of the videos. And go to the and go to the description box for a lot of resources that you can use in your placement progression journey. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Let's see you in the next video.